Hey, it's Keith. How are you doing? Um, it's early in the morning. Starting out with my green juice. Um, anyways, I have to respond to uh, Greg and ND left a comment on my yesterday's blog. Um, and by the way, I do want to point out to you, Greg, I totally recognize that you're a newbie uh, to the world of health or uh, maybe struggling to uh, find your way. Um, let me go to your comment so I can get exact. Um, the comment is, wow, so many processed supplements. Why not just eat real food? Okay. I have to tell you, I totally recognize that you're somebody who just stumbled in that was doing a search on YouTube and you're detoxing and you just came on to one of my blogs. So, um, let me tell you first off, uh, uh, 10, 11, 10 years ago, I was uh, dying of full-blown AIDS, um, and uh, uh, so just for your information, I've been off of uh, HIV meds for uh, two and a half years. Um, and I do want to point out another thing to you, is I, 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 I appreciate you uh, having an actual picture there, leaving information. A lot of people uh, leave negative comments that don't tell their age, there's no picture, there's nothing. I did notice that you're 45, which means that I'm three and a half years older than you. And just for your information, I mean, you know, I want to look at who you're talking to. Uh, you easily look like you could be 10 years my senior. So, of course, there's a lot of things that come into play with that. I think a big part of why I look, you know, it has a lot to do with my, my roots, my parents, my grandparents, because you can't be anything more than what, what, you were created from. So, uh, I haven't heard Truth Calkins, my health mentor, I don't hear David Wolf or any of these people talk about this. You cannot be more than your parents, your roots of where you come from. And this book by uh, Romania Dean Thomas, uh, Healing Thresholds, which I believe he self-published, uh, points that out. This is a good, good book to read. And it, I obviously come from a really good uh, breeding stock, but I've been a health food freak all my life. And so, um, uh, that didn't avoid my bad choices that I made with, uh, having, well, I did have unprotected sex with my boyfriend, which I thought could have been well. But anyways, I want to go over what your definition of whole foods are, or what real food is. Because that's something that's definitely up for, for question. We, I, I don't, what, what's real, what's natural? Um, I can tell you one thing. I know that we as humans are, um, completely... Um, removed from nature and this is going on big time in this health community with people um, uh, vegans getting so crazy about you know the killing of animals and all that kind of stuff and I, I've been a, a, a quarter century I was a vegan and it was it was in pursuit of health and now I'm discovering that eating a little bit of animal products is better for you and um, so, so what I'm simply talking about is the fact that the human consciousness, we don't have anything that's called instinct left in us anymore because our brains have moved out of that world of where we're not a part of that sort of cosmic connection with, with nature about why nature, why a cat knows it's carnivore, why a horse knows it eats grass, of, of all of those kind of things. So what is, you know, let, let me educate you on uh, my whole roundup that I, I did here, I, I have at other times eight things that would be theoretically more isolates. And I do have some videos back there. But just for your information, every one of those things, and, and you could you could help. I, I look at your, your thing that you're going through. You talk about failing uh, and, and trying to stay on this wagon uh, of whatever. But some of those products could really help you. And not, except for the DHEA, which is what I consider a true isolate, and that's to build up testosterone. Um, most people are completely, men especially nowadays with the way health food crap, uh, are, are deficient in testosterone. So uh, I do my, do my best with, um, I am on this detox routine right now of trying to get my liver back to being uh, healthy, like, and, and my colon and everything else. And by the way, I'll look at you again and I can see you could definitely use some, uh, 
bowel management tactics, some enemas, colonics, uh, stuff like that, and uh, opening up those elimination channels and, and helping out with that. Um, I do want to point out to you, it looks like you uh, having problems with uh, denying food you, uh, would help you to look at the body ecology diet um, and getting some probiotics into your life. So what is whole food? What is natural food? Because even if something's organic, um, these are not foods that are grown in topsoils that are mineral rich. So a lot of, you know, even if you're eating organic, I noticed, noticed that you're from uh, North Dakota. Um, I don't know what your access to, to organic food is. Um, because I know that that's, uh, and, and maybe you are getting f food from like, there's probably a lot more farm country there or whatever. But what is a whole food? So anyways, all of those supplements, quote unquote supplements, if that's what you want to call them, those are all herbal medicinal mushrooms. First off, all medicinal mushrooms are uh, amazing superfoods, which help with the immune system, help with uh, doing adjustments to the brain. All these medicinal mushrooms can do for you. I mean, you need to take behavioral meds, all this kind of stuff. They totally change the way you think and get you much more uh, in a, 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 a just a calm, at peace with yourself type of behavior. Um, make adjustments, quick to anger, um, or, or just your will to live or your overall will to make good choices. Uh, high dosage, high dosages of medicinal mushrooms are very well known to do this. Um, in 2008, when I first started taking medicinal mushrooms seriously at medicinal dosages, changed my life. And uh, previous to that, I had about 20 years of, of regular raw foodism, whole food eating. Didn't do anything near or close, not in a million lifetimes. Uh, uh, would I come up with the results that I came up from taking therapeutic dosages of uh, medicinal mushrooms? And you can see my early blog on this about talking about uh, um, this with my uh, very famous uh, reishi mushroom video, which is was one of the first on YouTube uh, about really talking about some of the uh, esoteric uh, effects of medicinal mushrooms. Thinking the advancements that's possible with those is endless, absolutely endless, but eat those as whole food, it's going to pass right through your body. We cannot um, uh, uh, get the, the um, nutrients out of the mushrooms, which are locked in. You know, reishi mushroom is, 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 a, is a chunk of wood. This, this is a reishi mushroom right here. It's wood. Can't eat that. Needs to be hot water extracted. Benefits of this is amazing. So, and, and all of those mushrooms that I went through with the exception of, I believe, shiitake, and I'm not sure about maitake, but shiitake is definitely digestible. But the point is, is all of those things, um, uh, uh, taking those at very strong extracts can help with um, parasites, microbials, you know, and basically what it is, is, it is it's just cooking those things down, olive leaf, you know, you're going to eat olive leaf, you're not going to get the benefits of, of something that's been on an eight to one extract. And so, um, uh, that's great. If, if that's, that's what you want to do, it's certainly a cheaper angle, but you're not going to get results. I'm not going to get results from a whole food, uh, detox diet. And, and even doing, uh, going with just juices, sometimes that you need a little bit of assistance there because you're going to start fighting, uh, the parasite infestation, uh, microbial infestation. Um, a thing that you need to be aware of with a lot of these things is uh, these parasites, microbials, uh, just whatever invasions. And people want to argue this. They have they have no problem with um, sitting there saying that a dog has parasites or a cat has parasites, but they don't want to admit that we humans have parasites. Um, when you do something that really goes against your programming, uh, you know, uh, of health nature, that, that's, that's parasites kicking in. And if, if you want to do a search on this, Dr. Robert Kazar is a really good one about talking about this kind of stuff. Uh, Truth Calkins as well. Because you need to understand that these uh, parasites, these invaders of the body, they have, 
they have a better sense of natural survival. They're much more tuned in to their natural instincts than we are. And if you don't think that they're going to fuck with your mind, you don't know. And excuse me for cussing if you're not used to being on my blog. I do tend to swear a bit here and there. So, um, anyways, so what is whole? What is real? Are we humans whole? Are we real? We're sitting here using these computers, uh, getting poisoned by EMF. Um, you know, the, the way that we humans are removed from what is whole, what is real, is, is, is endless. Um, cancer, um, ironically, if you study history, the epidemic of cancer uh, kind of ironically appeared around the same time that we harnessed electricity, that electricity came into our life. So maybe just a coincidence, who knows, I doubt it. Um, as well as just industrialization in general. But what is whole? What's processed? You say processed. Um, juicing. There, I don't know of anything that's that's processing. Vegetable in, juice out, uh, fiber out. So, I mean, there's certainly a whole world of people that don't want to have anything to do with juicing that um, are into the Vitamix, uh, keeping all that in there. But like I said, this here is a celery, cilantro, bok choy. It's like, you know, you get the essence of the plant out, you get the healing. So, um, working with, with herbs, with some of the stuff, the Venus flytrap extract, you can't begin to get the healing of uh, uh, extracted herbs. And, and we do, again, have to go back to China, the success that uh, the Asian countries in general are having with longevity, health and wellness. Um, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and and uh, all those herbs are hot water extracted. And, and when something is, is, is put into a pill as an herb, and I'm not standing behind amino acids and all that kind of stuff with, with saying this, and I will go briefly into amino acids because I had a period of taking that where that, that changed me. But basically, a, a strong herbal 8 to 1 extract is where you extract the essence out of an herb then you take that that which you boil down and you put fresh herbs in again and, and you know for whatever process like an eight to one basically it is that you you've gotten eight amount of, of the of the strength which you then put into your body um, and then you get amazing results so um, that's that and I know this is kind of a little bit redundant for some of my regular subscribers but I do want to talk about isolates also I had gotten into a pattern as with a lot of people who wind up where they can only sleep four or five hours because they've gotten so into what the Chinese call a yang routine of, of go, 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 go. And so in summer 2010, um, I, if you want, check out my sleep strategies a video where I took amino acid isolates, and these are pro processed foods. You can fix yourself. These are not whole food things. I now sleep. I don't take those all the time. I, I take them every now and then just to ensure that I stay on there. But our body gets so depleted of these specific things. We do not live a whole food existence, a whole life existence. We are broke down. Eating healthy organic meat that you think is, is good. It's not good because it's not pastured. It's like you get it at a health food store. It says grass fed. If it's not 100% grass fed or pastured, then it, it doesn't have the right fat breakdown. And I'll tell you, it's like, uh, it's so easy to stay healthy when you really become aware. And I do want to say, I hope my book is right back here. And it is. This is what you want to read. This is good stuff. This helps you learn a lot. Primal Body, Primal Mind by uh, Nona T. Good get goddess and I, I, I want to keep pushing this to my subscribers read this book drop what you're doing get to this book this book this book who anyways our musical selection for this video is a good one because I was thinking I wanted to uh, Depeche Mode one of my all-time favorite bands um, I was 19 years old when I uh, discovered this band and uh, wait, so Depeche Mode from the album some great were some great reward. Uh, the song is Lie to Me and a um, uh, bit of a, a, a weird kind of darkness that exists with Depeche Mode about um, 
you know, the disappointment with the world. Uh, uh, they mentioned the title of the album in, in the lyrics, late in the lyrics, about uh, some great reward will be coming our way. Um, the lyrics in the song are, uh, he says, uh, lie to me, but do it with sincerity. Um, and so uh, we live in this whole world of uh, well, maybe where the truth is not really the truth. And so uh, what a great video to uh, walk side by side. Racing Mushroom.